I'm not entirely sure this game's giving me life advice or game advice. If you're in danger, run. Or hide or something. You know what? That much. Since my character can't see, it's going to be pretty tricky. So, we're going to roll intro and here's the new series. Yeah. Hi there, welcome to our Let's Play of God Eater, I'm your host Yalti, and we have to name our character apparently. Code name. I don't know, what should I code name myself? There we go. You guys can get that reference, good you? Okay, it, I don't want us. What does my hair look like? No. Kind of. Is it messier, I guess? I don't think I want a hair clip, actually. Do I want to wear sunglasses? I'll have an eye patch. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> How's my character see? It's over already. <sighs> We're falling behind. Let's get this party started. Ugh. You know what? I'm okay with that. All right. So I don't know what this game is, but it's made by Bandai Namco, so it's probably gonna be a 3D action RPG or fighting game. There's a difference. And so there are animals. Pretty big animals. I'm guessing we're fighting those. I hope her sword's not buried in mine. It's like... The soundtrack's actually alright. So far. So there's that. What? And to the victor go the spoils. Old man Sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this. <laughs> I'd like to see some reinforcements out here. If we're um. all done here, let's call for Expel. I'm starved. Speaking of, what are they serving today? Why is no one wear clothes in anime? Or too much. I don't know. Some new engineered corn or something. You mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco? It's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, what? we're not back soon. We'll get a lot of nothing. Well, Soma means something. Pretty sure. I'll have to look it up. Means like simulator or something off the top of my head, though. Interruption, director. I believe Norn has found a match, a potential new type god eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test. T 
test. What do you mean test? This gamepad looks new, old fashioned. Oh, there I am. Wearing blue. in here. What can go wrong? <laughs> okay. Is it gonna let me or what? Oh no, it's still a cinematic. Okay. I like these kinds of games, you get to watch the game. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Yep. There is no way that it is built the right size for everyone's wrist. That would really hurt. There's no way someone can just go, ah, oh, I gotta just pick this up. Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're serving your <laughs> Look at me. A plus. Enjoy your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. All right. The game hasn't even started yet. Fair enough. So, want some gum? No. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, totally out. Thank God. Down the last piece. So, you were a match too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I didn't even tell you all I wasn't. I was been guessing that means we're the same age. Stand. Oh, look, it's Jennifer. Stand and to attention now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Why? That's not. No, your name is Jennifer. <laughs> We've been over this. Your schedule is as follows: a full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics, and given a brief overview of God arcs and armament. Until this moment, God eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Nope. Nope. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams, let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. <laughs> Until then, you're going to tour the facility as a running joke as my character can't actually say anything so every time I get hit. <laughs> it's because, well, you can't see. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. I got an achievement. Yay. <sighs> He's only got one arm.
Um. <laughs> hey, you lost? No, I'm just wandering around. Have you seen my father, though? does gonna grab it oh which sort is op all right understood this is a laboratory a high cannon I think this is one of those games that never leaves you in silence for a moment. Not that it's a bad thing. He's gonna have a way too young voice, is he? You were here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paler Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paler Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and RD. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Isn't that the same Thank thing? Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. That is not a name. Branch, that is not a name. <laughs> Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. Uh... The corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right. The Aegis project <laughs> will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to origami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. So is this game Pacific Rim Monster Hunter? Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again, free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new yep. types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something. Oh, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. I feel like one episode a week is going to be rough. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. Okay, this is anime lamp. They're going for a month or two. I wish people told me, ah, I guess it doesn't how long the game is, but it should be fun. It's a, uh, catnap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. What? 45 minutes. Okay. God, he is made pit. Without your life, you are nothing.
Understood. Alright, cool. So, why don't these guys see the voiceovers? I deserve. So what I'll do is I'll do the story missions um, during, and I'll do the extra missions. Afterwards. Uh, let's see. It oh, told me I set my lie out. said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet with you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh, ho. hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. In-game, I want you to be someone who I know has my back, and I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Yup, and you're right. totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot! Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Um... Why is now she I here? Place, so is she just... Cool, yeah? I'm sending you show up to, battle, and to I be naked? Scary. What? Look, I'm gonna be right here with you, got it? Oh, look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go. That's not a time. Honestly. What well, wasn't I supposed yeah, to slate my life? Okay. For sure. All right, Rook. We're going to get some hands on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide. Use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. Uh, okay. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. You haven't even told me how to move yet, game. First thing you do, tell me how to move. It's been 20 minutes. You've given me... No controls. Hey there, this is our first field op together. I'm excited to work with you. Now let's get out there. We're fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. Nothing crazy or unexpected. Right. I know it's your first time in the field. Just remember to stay calm. Watch their movements and strike when you see an ogre. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't stand right in front of a giant monster. Uh, Alright, so the controls are pretty dumb. Okay. Target origami has been neutralized. Well performed, God Eaters. I don't just hand out compliments. When I say you move well out there for a recruit, I mean it. Now what? Okay, so it's just a platform fighter. All right, fair enough. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a lot of stuff to read. Didn't actually tell me. It told me I could, but it didn't tell me how. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So, what do you say we just jump right in? 
Now, what do you think an origami is? Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the origami come? I haven't even had them explain to me what they are yet. that they just appear, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> that makes sense. Does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters! Oh. Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. Uh. That won't bring down an aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Uh. But each origami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. So, how then are we meant to survive? What? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Hit them I'm really hard till they die. I really hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an origami's body. That's the key. They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. What? No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have that no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of aragami. Dismissed. Interesting. Well, that's a save point. Oh, that's a terminal. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Laters.